Alrighty guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, before this video gets started, smash the thumbs up button, drop a comment down below. Uh, I've been reading the comments on what you guys wanted for videos. Came across a little one yesterday, uh, someone wants to learn how to kickless. So what I've decided to do for these tutorial videos is, um, some of the tricks I can't do because I've got a, I need a skate park for them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do motion tutorials for these tricks that I can't do without ramps. So, Kickless is one that I can do flat, but it's not something that I'm gonna like teach in the tutorial how to do flat. But in today's video, we're gonna be learning the kickless motion. I'm gonna go over it. It should be a really short video. I'll make it as easy to follow as possible. Um, and we'll learn the kickless motion, give you guys something to practice. Anyone that can already kickless obviously doesn't need to watch this video. But if you can't, stick around and we'll learn how to kickless. All right, let's do it. Alrighty guys, so the idea of these motion tutorials is to teach you as fast as possible how to do a motion of a certain trick to give you guys something to practice at home uh, and some easy steps to follow when you take it to the skate park as well. Okay, so I wanna make this really quick, really easy, really simple. These videos are gonna be, I'm gonna try and make, this one might be a bit longer because I'm introducing this like new little series thing, but uh, I want to make these videos like like really quick and snappy and I'm sorry that they're not entertaining and I'm sorry that I can't film anything really crazy right now. Uh, I will of course in six weeks be back to normal videos but for now I'm trying to find a way to help you guys why I can uh, so I'm gonna do this all right. Uh, of course there's gonna be videos on the kicker as well. Uh, some of the tutorials I'll be using the kicker uh, so yeah that'll be good. So for school bell damn school damn school dude all right this is school time alrighty so the first thing we're gonna need is a scooter obviously and what I want you guys to be able to do before trying to learn the kickless motion is a heel whip uh, you don't have to actually be able to do a heel whip and land it which would be ideal if you could but to learn the motion of a kickless because this is all about learning the motion this trick took me ages to learn and I mean I think it was one of the longest tricks in my whole scootering career, the kickless motion. I could not do it for the life of me. Uh, my friend Miller tried to teach me over and over again, and one day it just clicked and I got it. So hopefully this video helps you get it as well. So let's follow through to number one. That one of the kickless motion, I want you to be able to do this. I want you to be able to do heel whips, just like this. So if you can already do this, so this is, a heel, this is my heel whip, I want you to be able to lift it up, flick heel whips really fast like that. So you've got perfect control of your opposite whip. Uh, so you should be able to do tail whip, Stop it, rewind back, and do heel whips like this. All right, so heel whip is the first the first trick to the kickless because kick, some of you might do it differently, but most people will kickless like this. They will kickless with a heel whip first into a tail whip. There are some people that do oppo whip to heel. Uh, I can't do it that way, so I'm not going to teach it. I'm going to teach it the way that I know, which is like this, out in front with an oppo whip, back in like this. So here's a kickless. Uh, a kickless is basically just a rewind without kicking it. So you've got a rewind and you've got a kickless, all right? Oh, where I got stuck on the kickless for a very long time is I couldn't understand how to bring it back in. Now, most of you guys out there that are trying to learn the kickless, most of you guys out there that are trying to learn the kickless, I bet it looks something like this right now. So you're going up and it won't come back. You don't, you're like, what, what do I do? How do I get it back? You end up just flicking a heel whip and you're trying to pull it and it's not working your arms are up here you have no idea how to do it and i was like this I, I was exactly the same dude i was like what the hell like how do you how do you get it to like come back like how do you like you know what i mean how you, you can't kick it you've got to pull it back in yeah and i was and and after a while i like started doing some kicklesses and i was going like this so like really like throwing it like that and my arms were going everywhere uh so the trick to a kickless guys it's all in the wrist uh, it's all in the wrist and timing, obviously. Uh, timing's important, so there is a point in a uh, heel whip where it will snap and where it can lock, and that's where you roll your wrist and you can put it back in. Now, I'm gonna try slow-mo these as much as I can. I'm gonna do a couple of kicklesses in slow-mo right now to show you what it looks like, and I want you to pay attention to where my arms are and what my arms are doing, or my wrist specifically. So my wrist and arm area just here, I want you to pay attention to that, all right? So we're gonna slow-mo a couple here. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna look at the first one in slow-mo, then it's gonna slow-mo again. I want you to watch my left wrist. All right. Okay, so here's a second angle in slow-mo. Uh, I'll slow-mo it even more and zoom. Okay, again, so I want you to pay close attention to the left wrist. Watch the left wrist and where the arm goes. See that? Watch again, up, snap. All right, let's move to the next part. Alrighty, so as you can see, with a kickless, the scooter actually goes up in the air with the heel whip. So 
the first step to actually being able to get a kickless and actually lock the motion into place is like this, ready? So you wanna throw the heel whip up at the same time as you go up like that. So you're up, up like that. So if you can, without pulling it back in, if you can get your kick, if you can get your heel whip up to there, so the locking point, watch, I'll do it straight on, is right there. So it's almost, we will say, if the heel whip is all the way around, a kickless is about here. So it's just past halfway, and that's where you'll turn your wrist and pull it back in. So it's just past halfway, it's not, I can do it halfway like this as well, so I can go halfway back in. But the perfect snap point that I've found is right there. So you're on that angle. So starting from here, the heel whip about there, and that's where it'll snap back around. So that's like tip number one, it's a snapping point. Where is it? That's exactly where it is, right? The next part is how much you pull it up to how much you pull it down. So if, if I tried to kickless without moving my arms, see, I've got straight arms, straight arms, it looks weird, right? Now it's all in the wrist here, so you're gonna, you're gonna pull up, snap down. So this hand here, my left hand, watch my left hand real closely, I'm gonna zoom in on it. Alrighty guys, so we're just gonna cover the left hand one more time, just a few more slow-mos from front on. Watch that left wrist, watch it roll up and roll back down. That's the motion that you want right there. See, and where the deck's just over halfway, it'll snap back in. Camera can catch that, of how my, my fingers roll up a little bit, so they're like, See, so snapping it. All right, the next thing is where where do you throw the kickless? Because a lot of you guys are gonna be doing this. A lot of you guys are gonna go behind you. And I did it behind me for God knows how long. And you can actually kickless like that, it works. Like, I, if you watch some of my kicklesses, they go like this. And they go right, they do a full heel whip. So they go heel whip, back round. So it's still a kickless, it's a rewind, it's a, it's a footless basically, like it's a rewind without kicking, it still counts. But to make an efficient kickless, you want it out in front of you. So you want to be able to push it out in front. Here, so you want to be able to push it, not underneath you. You can do it like this as well, if you lean over, so you can go like that, so that's another way. But when I kickless, I go like this, I throw it out in front of me, bring it back, and it allows for room for me to add extra whips. Now, I know this trick, teaching this motion is really, really irritating, and I'm gonna come back to it uh, when I go to the skate park as well to show you what it looks like when you actually do the trick. But I really want you guys in the next six weeks, or uh, if you're in isolation or not, to be able to get this motion down. You can go over the top of it like that. So I can go like that. So when you're actually in the air over a box jump, most likely you'll be like this. You'll throw the heel at three quarters, and you'll be over the top of it like that. So you'll be leaning forward, just like all tricks. Even when you finger whip, you come into it leaning forward, chin over the bars. But for now, just to learn the motion at home, we're gonna chuck it up, chuck it up. Now I'll be slow mowing as much as I can, zooming in exactly where I can to try to teach you guys this. It is all in the hands, guys. It's all in the hands. Hands and timing. So three quarter whip, down. Alrighty guys, let's do a step-by-step -step recap just so we can go through the motions of how you can actually apply these steps, alright? So, I know it was a little fast in explaining that and it might not have made sense, but there's only like a couple of, there's only a couple of steps to this. It's just each step kind of is annoying to get to the next one. So, the first step, I want you to be able to just heel whip efficiently. Step number one, heel whip. Alright, step number two, see if you can throw a heel whip out three quarters of the way and put it down. Let's see if you can go heel whip there. So you know you know where it needs to stop. So you're gonna heel whip, put it down. Three quarters of the way, right? Put it down. The tip number three is lift it up at the same time. So you can do three quarters of a heel whip, lift it up and put it back down. Three quarters of a heel whip, lift it up, put it back down. So at the same time, you're gonna be going up. Up like this, out in front of you. This leg is gonna come back. So to start it off, it's always gonna be a heel whip. I use my back foot, so I go, like that. All right, three quarters of the way, down. That's what you're gonna do right now. Step, no, st step number four. Upon lifting it up, lift it up, and that's where your hands are gonna come in. All I want you to try and do is try snap it back, all right? Your hands will eventually figure out where to go. So at, at the start, it's gonna go like this, right? But, I'll, but you know where the timing is now? And now, with, if you're the same as me, if you're regular and you heel whip towards the right, uh, and whip towards the left, 
uh, this will apply to you. If it's opposite, you'll just do the exact opposite, okay? So for me, it's my left hand. For some of you guys, it's gonna be your right hand. Now, you're gonna flip up, roll, kick, kick. This hand, this hand here, watching this hand, up, flick it, up, flick it. It's gonna be on an upwards motion, so you can flick it down, okay? Up, down, up, down. All right. So that's step number four, okay? Now, I won't go into the other steps of how to land the kickless and stuff. I just want you to be able to do the motion. Now, a quick tip for tip number five is watch the deck. Uh, always watch the deck in a kickless. It works. So, And this applies to anyone that can do it and wants to learn it out of a ramp. So if you are at the stage of trying to learn it out of a ramp, I want you to watch it. So you're going to watch it go up, snap. So you can see where it hits three quarters, snap back. Watch up, down. Pick the middle of your grip tape, watch the deck. It should help. Now. The arm movements and the wrist movements are the most important, guys. You'll feel it. It's called the snap. It's like, it's really snappy, and that's how you end up being able to do this. Ready? See, I've got the snap here, and it will just rock back and forwards. Watch my arms. Once you learn the kickless, guys, I suggest you do this for a long time. Just back and forward, back and forward. And then add whips, flick it out, start again. Add some more whips, flick it out, start again. And you can start the kickless from any position. A kickless kickless is a different motion to a kickless. A kickless kickless is up, up, like that. Now, just a kickless, up, back, up, back. Now, I know this wasn't the most in-depth tutorial, but I hope it helps you. Let me know if it helps you. And if you got, what I want you to know, what, what I want to know, guys, is what you're having trouble with with the kickless. Which step is the hardest part for you to do? Feel free to send in videos, um, jeremymarin5 at gmail.com of you trying the kickless motion, and I'll try to correct them for you. Um, I'll show you, because I, I just know the steps that I had trouble with learning, and what I had trouble with learning was the timing. So I, I personally had trouble learning the timing of when to snap it back. Uh, the snapping it back part wasn't so hard for me once I got the timing because my wrist automatically rolled. So if you get the timing right, usually your wrist will know what to do. But if you're stuck on the wrist movement, we can do a close up video on exactly what to do with your wrist. So I hope this, guy, I hope this helped you guys. Um, comment down below if it did or if it didn't, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, all right?